Hello beer tubers and welcome to yet another beer review with me Peter the Master of Hobbits. Today, checking out some more macro wheat beer as promised in the review of Kohlenburg Blanc and Rosé. Uh, we're checking out some Pift by Royal Unibrew. Royal Unibrew, one of the big giants of brewing in Denmark, famous for their Anarchist and Gottborg series of beers. Like the anarchist thing is what people think is craft beer if you're not into craft beer. Like anyone in Denmark nowadays, you know, uh, would say, oh yeah, I love a good IPA. The anarchists, they're so good. The 15 crowns in the supermarkets. Like, yeah, because they're fucking macro beers. And they, oh, they have a touch of mango. Yeah, because they have a budget because of marketing and all these things that they can't go all in with hops. So they use cheaper extracts of fruit to boost fruit flavor. I think they're terrible. There's been one beer that I thought was all right, but otherwise it's just like, yeah, bullshit and trying to steal craft beer identity. Um, so yeah, that's that's how it is. But not to be a complete dig towards them. I mean, they do actually, I will say in the Gutbog series, there is a couple that are quite decent classic beers. I'm just not too fond of the anarchist stuff, but they are challenging Carlsberg's Wheat beer thrown. So Carlsberg is really selling loads of Blanc uh, in Denmark. I think all cr across Europe, really. Um, well, I can't say for sure. There's a lot of other wheat beers around Europe, but at least in Denmark, it's you see it everywhere. You know, as with most big breweries, they do contracts with companies uh, that are opening bars or restaurants. Like, hey, you get a free tapping system if you uh, want to carry our beers. Or blah, blah blah blah. Whatever. It's, Royal does the same. I think Carlsberg, it's 10% that can be non-Carlsberg products, which is nice. And I think Royal, it's a no bueno, but there was a point something where you could buy a tap as a craft brewer and you could pay a monthly rent fee to use their tap or some bullshit like that. Um, so hats off to them, not. We're checking out Pift, 5.2% wheat beers. You can totally see uh, with the whole identity theft here. <laughs> it's like, it's going for the, the Cornebois Blanc Crown. It is artificially flavored wheat beers. This, there was a, apparently a big market research looking at what younger generations and people who don't like beer and whatnot would want. And they loved the idea of the camaraderie around drinking beers and stuff. They just didn't like beer. So for some reason, Royal wanted to cash in on that and they ended up doing this. Apparently it's made in collaboration with street art artists and they support street artists. I don't know how that collaboration works out, but it's like, it just screams the marketing department. It's like, yeah, we gotta be young with the young kids. It reminds me of the meme with, uh, oh, what's his face? The actor, uh, the hello fellow kids with a bait, uh, uh, where he's standing with a skateboard. I can't remember his name. He's in like little Mickey and stuff. And uh, they're 5.2% and they've done one here with citrus and one with mango. The uh, ingredient list says barley malt, wheat malt, natural aromas, hops, and yeast. So let's start out with the citrus. I'm imagining this will be the uh, most like uh, Cornbois Blanc. And I'm doing this back to back with the Blanc and the Blanc Rosé or Rosé, just to see if there are any clo anything similar. So first off, it's not as hazy. I tried swirling and it's clear beer in the bottom of the bottle. So it does, you know, not look as much like, like a Vit beer. I, they also just call it wheat beers. I'm not sure if they're trying to market it as a wheat beer. I guess they're just trying to market it as a macro wheat beer. Whitehead, that was somewhat substantial when pouring out. Let's check out the aroma. Oh my lord. <laughs> this is more beer-like, but really, for some reason, it smells like skunky. And I, that's super weird because it's in a bottle that looks like this. It also smells like tea, like citrus tea. I'm actually almost getting some coriander, co coriander, coriander on this, but it smells more like beer than Cornbois Blanc. Let's try it. Cheers. Oh, it's sweet. It's sweet. It's dry. And it tastes like citrus gummy candy. It's, it's like, it's, it's like white sugar. It's like white sugar put on like wheat or some kind of wheat based cereal. There's no sugar on it. I'm wondering where all that sweetness comes from. Maybe it's just like a really high mash temperature. So there's a lot of residual sugar. Cause I'm pretty sure sugar would have to be on their, the label there. 
It could also just be from the sweet kind of like aroma compounds they put in there. It's really artificial tasting. It's actually more sweet and artificial tasting the more I drink it than Combo Blanc is. And it tastes more like further away from that. It almost tastes a bit like really, really sweet wort with fake citrus and tea flavor. Fuck, it's really bad. <laughs> oh my God, but I'm sure there's gonna be a market for it because there's a market for Cronenberg Blanc. Oh my God, this is terrible. Sweet, wort, citrus. There's even like a thing that reminds, there's some, maybe there's artificial sweetener in here. There's almost that drying sensation you get from uh, artificial sweetener from um, something like um, aspartame or something like that. That drying sweet sensation. That could be it. But they would have to label that as well if that's in there. Just maybe, you know, it might also just because it's a dry beer and the extract is making it sweet. Fuck, it's terrible. It's really, really, really terrible. It's almost reminding me of Citron Man as well. Like in Denmark, uh, a lemon soda. There's, it's got flavors of that, like that. Maybe that's because that's the flavor, the, the citrus flavoring they're using. Fuck, that's terrible. So let's jump on to, this is gonna be worse, I'm sure. <laughs> let's jump onto the mango one. Uh, same ABV, it says the same thing and everything. It's This is the one that really smells like gummy candy. So I think it's the same color, or is it a touch more orange? Nah, I think it's the same. Whitehead, let's check out the aroma. Yeah, oh my God, what the hell? <laughs> no, oh my God, fuck this. Fuck this. Oh my God. This smells exactly like, it almost smells like an energy drink. What the fuck? This is so fucking stupid. Oh my God, do, re do people really wanna drink this? Why don't you just fucking drink a Bacardi Breezer? Oh my fucking God. The, I can, I, I, smelling this, I know instantly I will utterly hate this. Wow. It smells like the mango aromas that they've used. So it's the company that also produces Pepsi products in Denmark. It smells like the, they did a Pepsi Max mango. It's the exact same flavor compound they use in this. And it smells kind of like they do the Fexicundi booster, tropical flavor things. I think it was one with mango at one point, it's like mixed tropical fruit which is an energy drink, it smells like the flavoring of that. It smells so fucking artificial. There's only pure artificial flavor in this, on the aroma. It's stupid. Fuck this. Let's try it. Fucking shite. This is the worst beer I've had in years. And like by Royal Unibrew standards, like, at least they've been trying with the anarchist stuff. Like, this is so fucking crap. It is one of the worst ever beer-related products I've ever had. It tastes more like a fucking stupid energy drink than it tastes like a fucking beer. Or if you did, like, half energy drink, half beer. Like, I don't, I can't fathom why you would buy this over a fucking Bacardi Breezer with mango flavor if you were young. Like, why? If you don't like beer, like, fucking buy that other stuff. What the fuck? This is trash. This is a 20. I, like, this is the lowest grade I've given in years to a product, man. I even want to go lower because I want to, I, I hate this with a passion. Like, what the actual fuck is going on? Why would you ever try? Is this what craft beer has done, done to the fucking world of big beer? People trying to imitate and do weird flavors and shit, and then you, they make things like this that taste like fucking artificial gummy bear soda crap. What the fuck? This is almost a delight to drink compared to the mango. Let's try and do a Kuwait. Mm -mm. It's like, yeah, it's so much of that art, like, Drying sweet artificial flavor. And there, maybe these aromas are sweetened with something. 
because it feels like artificial sweetener, uh, like aspartame or something. Fuck me. I really like, I really don't hope this is going to be a success, but it probably will because people who don't like beer are going to drink it just like Kumbo Blanc. But Kumbo Blanc as a product is miles ahead of this, even though it's terrible. But like, I will say this is okay, but it's also so artificial, but this is one of the worst beverages with alcohol I've had in years. I can't remember the last time I've hated a product as much as this. This is so atrocious and stupid and unnecessary. Like, why? People can fucking, like if you want this flavor, just fucking buy an alcohol pop or buy a mango flavored soda and pour in vodka and beer or something like this. Fuck me, man. Fuck me. I will give both beers, they do have touches of maltiness and wheatiness. But you know what? Royal Unibrew is the company that's gonna be laughing all the way to the bank. So that's just how it is. Fuck. I mean, it's almost like if they, it's almost like, you know, doing it like this, they can do whatever the fuck they want. They can brew whatever shitty, fucking, whatever cheap as fuck lager or ale or whatever and just load up in their uh, aromas and flavoring and sell it. It's like, this is beer. It's like, oh wow, that's so good. Like, fuck, I hate it. And that's why this company needs to fucking be talked down. And people need to be honest like uh, about their stuff and not be like, oh yeah, that's quite a well right for the price. These were fucking cheap, but they're atrocious. Like, please support craft breweries instead. And if you see anarchists and all that crap, you know, Support craft breweries instead. Don't be fooled by whatever they're doing. Like, it's big beer. It's big beer and they're in it for the money. They're not in it for the passion. Um, ratings, as I said, like 20, maybe 15 on the mango and the uh, citrus. I'll go closer to blank and maybe like a 45. I'm still, I'm still gonna flunk it because it's pretty fucking terrible. But this is one of the worst liquids I've had in my mouth in a long time that's supposed to be beer. It pisses me off that fucking big beer is doing things like this. It's so stupid. Oh my god. That's how it is when you're into things <laughs> and people just don't give a shit. Like this is so, this is just scream so much macro soulless mass produce out of ideas that just do something to cash cow and cash in on something that's trendy. It's like, it's not about passion. It's not about being fond of something. It's just about money and it's about fucking yeah, this is crap. So, cheers in none of these, because these are going down the fucking drain as well. Even my toilet. I mean, I, fuck, this is crap. So, if you had these, I mean, I, I can't remember the last review I've been this, like, fired up. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if you had these, let me know. Don't be scared to tell me you like them. If you like them, it's okay. You can like whatever you like. Most people like whatever they like, you know. That's how it is. Flavor preferences are different to every, anyone, so... If you had any of these, let me know. As always, remember to comment, subscribe, check out the Facebook fan page, Twitter, and Instagram, and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Ring the bell for future notifications about videos. And this is hard fucking passes. Don't waste your money on this. Buy something else. Cheers, and see you guys in another beer review. Fuck the Lord! What the fuck? Oh my god.